now there's a whole new reason to get close-up. New close-up toothpaste. With a white-on-white -white brightening system that leaves teeth so irresistibly white, it just draws people closer. Isn't it time we all got close-up? We dare you to feel more comfortable this month. You're on. Take new improved Playtex out of its applicator and compare it to the other leading tampon. Playtex is softer and a more comfortable applicator. I'll try it. Playtex. Dare to feel more comfortable. Now, when you buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1, you'll get Sonic 2 absolutely free. Sonic 2 handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots, no problem. It even slices and dices, makes thousands of julienne fries. But wait, you can play it too. This free Sonic 2 is a $54.99 value. You get two Sonics for the price of one. Sonic 2 fits easily into any tackle box. Made from a space-age polymer plastic for years of family fun. And pets love it too. Buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1 and get Sonic 2 free. Act now. Wiener Dog Sweaters sold separately. Are there some days your hair needs more conditioning? Some days it needs less? No matter what your hair goes through, finesse is always there for you. Finesse your hair to feel to fall. Finesse Adjusting Conditioner tracks your hair's changing needs. Conditions more on days you need it, less on days you don't. Finesse your hair to beautiful, beautiful. Finesse your hair to beautiful. Finesse your hair to beautiful. First on Fox tonight. The death of a highway patrol officer in the line of duty is just another chilling reminder about the dangers on the job. We'll take you on a ride with one trooper to find out what he faces every day. Coming up on Fox News at 9. Day 4 of the Sam Castanis murder trial wrapped up today. We'll take you there tonight on Fox News at 9. Also, a hidden camera captures a woman allegedly slipping a syringe into a can of Pepsi. It's all next on Fox News at 9. You know, the mailman's a big dude now, so I can do some damage to some fried chicken. That's why I'm in the Hardy's fried chicken now. Did you know how big their pieces are? Look at this. Big, crispy, and juicy. Now, that's what I call a piece of chicken. KFC's a little breast pieces. Can't touch this. The big deal at Hardy's is the Hardy Pack. Eight big pieces of fried chicken and four famous biscuits, now just $6.99. Are you ready for some real food? Yeah, big time. Hardy's. Nature can be devastating to wood. All-purpose water sealer's waterproof. So does Olympic Water Guard for wood. But only Olympic has sunblock protection to fight sun damage. Plus resists mildew and has penetrating linseed oil to strengthen wood fibers. Olympic Water Guard with four-way wood protection. Because wood needs more than an all-purpose water sealer. Kelly's got school trouble. Mom and Dad are at parent-teacher night, and I'm scared. When are they going to realize that you're stupid and leave you alone? Tonight at 11 on Fox 13. Live from KSTU in Salt Lake City, it's the Fox News at 9. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us. First on Fox tonight, a Utah state trooper is killed in the line of duty during a high-speed chase. The latest fighting in Somalia kills six UN peacekeepers and injures dozens more. And a hidden camera captures a couple allegedly tampering with a can of Pepsi. First tonight, Utah Highway Patrol troopers are mourning the loss of a fellow officer. It happened during a high-speed chase of two teenagers in southern Utah. Our Melissa Miller is going to join us right now and has details for us, Melissa. Nick, the Utah Highway Patrol has lost a second trooper in less than a year. Last December, Joseph Brummett was killed by a truck after stopping at the scene of an accident. And now last night's fatal shooting of another Highway Patrol officer is a chilling reminder about the danger of a trooper's job. The flag is flying at half-mast today in front of Utah Highway Patrol offices across the state in memory of 37-year-old trooper Dennis Lund, who died in the line of duty last night. Lund, along with five other officers, were pursuing two juveniles who fled a service station in the southern Utah town of Thompson without paying for the gas. The chase continued westbound on I-70, then just west of Green River, the juveniles shot at Officer Lund, hitting him with a fatal shot to the face. Today, UHP officers were wearing a black ribbon across their badge in mourning. First, like everybody, you just kind of go into shock and you don't really believe that it happened. 
Trooper Andy Campbell says the tragic incident serves as a reminder. It makes you, like I say, think about your own family and your own kids and, and kind of tunes you up as far as wakes you up again. Even a traffic stop is approached in a certain manner. Really, there's no such thing as a regular traffic stop. You should, they all should be treated as, as a high risk. Did you realize the speed limit is 55? You really have to remind yourself to, 15, 23. to really pay attention to what you're doing. That You do kind of get a little relaxed before you actually should in some situations. The traffic can kill you just as easy as somebody shooting at you. The two juveniles responsible for fatally shooting Trooper Lund are in custody tonight. The 16 and 8-year-old boy, 18-year-old boys from Indiana had stolen the car they were driving. Yeah. Actually, you were telling me just before the newscast about the trooper that you were profiling right there and an incident that he encountered just last night. Yeah, amazing. Trooper Campbell had just learned that Trooper Lund had been shot and killed. He was stopping a suspected DUI driver. As he was talking to the driver, another trooper came behind him, walked around to the passenger side of the car, tapped on the window, pointing to a gun that was in the seat of that car, and the driver happened to be a, a convicted murderer from 1972, obviously illegally handling that gun, having that gun at least. Dangerous profession. Dangerous. And I, ironically, this story also deals with this. This uh, trooper, Melissa, that was riding with today was the first one on the scene of a one-car accident that has left a West Valley man in serious condition. A pickup truck ran off Interstate 15 near 90th South, crashing through a fence right into the back of a Midvale home, as you see. The driver, who was, we're told, not wearing a seatbelt, suffered a major cut to his head. Within minutes, life flight was on the scene. Landing on the highway, 33-year-old Michael Todd then put aboard the chopper and lifted to LDS Hospital. Was evidence gathered inadequately? That was the focus of day four of the Sam Castanis murder trial. Our Nina Jimenez followed today's courtroom action and has our report. Detective Sergeant Robert Schober spent the entire day testifying in the Sam Castanis murder trial. Schober was in charge of securing the scene and gathering evidence at the West Jordan home of the Castanis family. Sam Castanis is accused of the November 1991 knife and hammer slayings of his wife and three children. Castanis claims he's innocent and watched intently as the blood-stained clothes of his wife and children were introduced as evidence. Prosecuting attorney Kent Morgan and defense attorney Ron Yangage went head-to-head -head over the gathering of evidence at the crime scene. Yangage pointed to Schober's inexperience as a chief investigator and his failure to collect potential evidence. Yangage asked, quote, how many hairs did you take from the head of Sam Castanis on the evening of November 17, 1991? Schober replied, quote, the exact count I do not know. Schober admitted some items which weren't preserved could have been used as evidence. In Morgan's cross-examination, he worked at restoring Schober's testimony by reinforcing that evidence was gathered and sent to the state and FBI crime labs according to protocol. After a full day of testimony by Detective Sergeant Robert Schober, the prosecution maintained his credibility while the defense continued to find inaccuracies in his investigation. Nina Jimenez, Fox News, 3rd District Court, Salt Lake City. The trial resumes tomorrow afternoon. Testimony surrounding the diagramming of the crime scene and gathering of blood samples, we're told, will be heard. And now turning to other news. The world's effort to help Somalia is continuing to exact a high price. Six United Nations peacekeepers were killed. Forty-three were wounded today. They were part of a force attempting to crush the militia loyal to warlord Mohammed Farah Adid. Adid is the man accused of leading an ambush against UN troops June 5th, which resulted in 23 deaths. So far, Adid has escaped capture. Five of those killed were Moroccan, one was a Pakistani. Among those wounded, one was an American. The attack is continuing at this hour. President Clinton praised the operation in Somalia, calling it a success in his first primetime news conference this evening. He also said that the nation is putting its economic house in order. Getting the economy back on track depends upon Congress passing this economic plan. It's necessary, it's fair, and it will work. Borrowing a page from Ross Perot's book, the president used charts to show the state of the deficit and the way his package will work. At one point, Rick Hume of ABC, whose question recently angered the president and caused him to cut a news conference short, asked Mr. Clinton to characterize his relations with White House reporters. I don't think I can say it any better than President Kennedy did. <laughs> But I, let me say this, I, you, know, you have to do your job as you see it, and I'm going to do mine the best I can. 
The president's news conference was carried live by two of the five networks. Meanwhile, the president's tax bill is on hold until tomorrow. The Senate Finance Committee is delaying a final vote on the plan until then. While Democrats are pushing it, Republicans like Utah Senator Orrin Hatch are against it. And frankly, I'm getting a little weary of this worn out, let's tax the rich mantra. Under this bill, if you drive a car, you're rich. Uh, you must be rich. If you're a senior citizen who has saved for your retirement, you're, you're rich. Uh, if you're a sub S corporation, meaning generally a small business corporation, you're going to pay more than General Motors as a percentage of your income. Clinton's plan calls for reducing the budget deficit by over $500 billion over a five-year period. Federal government investigators say the nationwide Pepsi tampering scare is nothing more than a string of false reports. The FDA says the dozens of claims about objects found in Pepsi cans were faked, and no cases have been confirmed. And late today, the Pepsi company released a remarkable videotape. It appears to show a case of a product tampering involving a can of Pepsi at a store near Denver, Colorado. The government says it will will vigorously prosecute all false reports of tampering. Seven people have already, in fact, been arrested. Utah's congressional delegation won a battle for the Beehive State tonight, and this year's fruit forecast is better than expected. Here is Matt Winsenreed sitting in for Bob Schildmeyer from the assignment desk to bring us up to the minute on these stories. Nick, late tonight, a House subcommittee says it will give Utah all the money it requested to complete the Central Utah Project. Fox News talked with members of Utah's congressional delegation. They're thrilled. Utah will receive the full $25 million it requested. The CUP is designed to conserve Utah's water. Also, health officials are worried tonight. The mystery virus that killed 16 people in the Four Corners area may strike again. Anytime, anywhere. That's because the virus is found on a common species of mice found in cities and countries around the world. California state health officials are reporting five cases of the illness, two of them fatal. Utah's downwinders are fighting mad tonight over Bill Clinton's proposal to cut funds for victims of atomic testing. Radiation survivors fought for years to win a formal apology from the government and compensation. Utah's fruit growers are expecting a much better crop than last year. Growers say the wet winter and spring has driven away bees, leaving most trees unpollinated. Crops of apples and peaches are both expected to be above normal and better than last year. And that's Fox News up to the minute. Back to you, Nick. Okay, man. Thank you. We're all right now. Time for our first look at the weather. Here's Steve Carlson. Wet and chilly, is that it, Steve? Oh, it feels more like fall outside right Yay. now than the uh, middle of June. As we take a look at some rainfall totals from around the uh, northern part of the state, around the valley today, Salt Lake City with 32 hundredths of an inch. Look at Provo, Draper, Sandy, Logan, not much rain today. But in the meantime, a flash flood watch remains in effect until midnight tonight for the eastern third of the state, so watch out for more heavy rain in those areas. We'll check the forecast, have the uh, five-day for you coming up first on Fox. Nick? Okay, Steve, questions about President Kennedy's assassination haunt a funeral in Texas today. That and more when Fox News continues. How are Utah businesses reacting to the Americans with Disabilities Act? I'm Karen Toomey, and I'll have more on that story coming up next on Fox News. Also, a new report has some disturbing news on how Americans are planning for their retirement. keep on rolling and the best way to keep things rolling is to keep working harder to roll back prices roll back, keep on rolling. look around there's a lot more that's a lot less at walmart Gotta keep on rolling. Roll back America. we never stop rolling back prices walmart Gotta keep on rolling. always the low price always Hertz Car Sales continues our 75th anniversary celebration with 6.9% financing and sale prices clearly marked on every vehicle. So bring your trade and get the car you want at the price and payment you can afford with 6.9% financing. The best deal on wheels is now through June 19th on our biggest selection of late model vehicles, all discounted and clearly marked with sale prices. Only at America's Wheels, Hertz Car Sales, Layton and Ogden. Hertz, we're America's Wheels. Paramount Pictures presents Tom Cruise in the motion picture suspense thriller of the year. What are you doing here? If we run, they find us. Your life as you know it is over. The Firm, Rick Starts Wednesday, June 30th, everywhere.
These opticians' lens crafters told me they could make a proper pair of glasses, even by focals, in about an hour. We'll see. Let's see you do it in an hour. Or not. At Lens Crafters, we do our lens crafting on the spot. 58 minutes. But could I get them cheaper somewhere else? No, the Lens Crafters guarantee promises unbeatable prices. You can't argue with that, can you? Lens Crafters. Quality crafted glasses in about an hour. Put some life in your love life with DateMate. Call 1-976-2000 to hear messages from men. For women's, call 1-976-2222. 99 cents per minute, tolls apply. For more life in your love life, call DateMate now. We've all seen them at one time or another over the years. Buildings, businesses, and hotels that are equipped to accommodate the disabled. But there are some who believe progress is too slow in coming. Fox's Karen Toomey tells us some disabled people worry that Utah businesses don't know the law. Nope. It's about not being able to go to the store to pick up some bread or not being able to enter a restaurant. In a word, it's inaccessibility. These protesters claim businesses like this Top Stop convenience store are not doing enough to break down physical barriers. You were supposed to be in compliance. Well, honey, you should None be talking. None of your, I am not your honey. You and don't you dare call me your honey. Although the Americans with Disabilities Act mandates businesses get into compliance with the law, some disabled people feel business owners just don't care. He was trying to enter this store the other night and they dumped him out of his wheelchair. Now, he's been after him for over a year and a half to get this place accessible. And all they do is say, submit us a bid to put in a ramp. In spite of the setbacks, one expert says a number of Utah companies are complying with the law. Well, we know we have to put in a parking space, and let's see, the regulation says that this is where we have to do it, and this is how big it needs to be, and this is, and they've put some thought into it. A lot of people are simply looking at the ADA as, gee, I better go out and redo some of my disabled stuff that I have out there, or my handicapped stuff that they have out there. Rick Rambo makes his living helping other companies comply with the law. He says ignorance and not discrimination is the real problem, and that business owners need to take the responsibility to educate themselves. In the past, buildings like this one have been completely inaccessible to disabled persons. But the owner of this building took a hard look at the Americans with Disabilities Act and decided that even putting in this lift was a small price to pay for accessibility. Karen Toomey, Fox News, Salt Lake City. Incidentally, Karen tells us she was unable to get an official statement from Top Stop. The company's spokesman is out of town at this moment. Colin Powell speaks his mind about base closings. And will the funeral of John Connolly answer questions about President Kennedy's assassination? That and more as we check out the rest of our world in a minute. The decision on which military bases will be closed is just two weeks away. Today, General Colin Powell urged the government to stick to the original list and close 31 major bases. The pushing and shoving in Japanese politics resulted today in a call for a no-confidence vote against Prime Minister Keiichi Miyazawa. Opponents claim he hasn't done enough to clean up scandals. Former Texas Governor John Connolly was laid to rest today, but not before researchers asked that bullet fragments still in his body be removed. They've been there since the assassination of President Kennedy and could help answer remaining questions. Millions of Americans approach retirement with no pensions, no insurance, and no assets except Social Security. 40% of those questioned have great fear about retirement. Despite a tight budget, President Clinton today urged Congress to go ahead with a downsized space station as well as the controversial Super Collider in Texas. Combined price tag, $26 billion. And finally, a loophole in a law in South Carolina allows video poker. The Attorney General is not amused, but it's all legal so long as the cash is handed out by attendants and not by the machines. And that's World in a Minute. Well, if it feels as if old man winter has returned, you're right. We hope old man Steve Carlson has a warmer outlook in store. And we're going to show you Mother Nature's wrath in the Midwest. Stay with us. How do you define value? Is it just a great price? Or does value mean getting a truck with the best mileage, the best exterior corrosion protection, the best resale value? and more standard horsepower than Ford. That's the way Chevrolet defines a rock-solid value. And right now, there's no finer example than the Chevy CK. 
Oh, and for that great price, go see your Rocky Mountain Chevrolet Geo dealers for that today. Only the best for less, that food for less. A pleasant way to save. Now through Saturday, June 19th, you'll find the lowest prices of the year on farm fresh produce at the Food for Less Produce Spectacular. Enjoy now or can for later, but stock up now and save on produce at Food for Less. The Super Dad Super Saturday Sale at Granite Furniture is happening now, and we're going to save you money with the hottest prices on the hottest gifts for Dad you've ever seen. Get this RCA portable CD player an unbelievable $119.95. Buy this deluxe pull and gas trimmer for just $99.95. Save 20%. Bring out the fisherman and your dad with a spinning rod and reel for just $19.88. Compare at $59.95. Bring the kids for hot dogs and Pepsi on Saturday. Hurry, it ends Saturday at 7. The Super Dad Super Saturday Sale at Granite Furniture. For the next two days, your Utah Gold Standard Toyota dealers are out to clear their lots. They sold so many Toyotas at the fair park, the factory sent an extra shipment. And it's here. That means bargains under the tent at all six dealerships. On the spot, 5.9% financing on over 1,500 new Toyotas. Plus, option packages and huge dealer discounts could save you even more. Hurry, on Saturday at 10, it's over. Look for the tents at Larry H. Miller Toyota, Mark Miller Toyota, Rick Warner Toyota, Menlove Toyota, Dolly's Toyota, and Toyota of Ogden. What happened? Da, da, da. What happened? It's June. Like I told you, it's that roller coaster thing. Well, I am telling you, I, I, I'm sure it's no, no record, but it's going to be <laughs> mid 40s tonight. Isn't yeah, it'll be cool. And you get up on the hill, it's going to uh, be a little colder than that. I bet. Maybe you. a little snow. And maybe 30ish. What do you yeah. I mean? In the 30s? Uh, I'd be 45 or so down here. Down here. Down here in the valley. Yeah, here in the farther up. Mm -hmm. A little cooler. Okay. Got some good news. Yeah. All right. As a matter of fact, around the valley right now, still some light drizzle in some places falling around the valley. Temperature is 58 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies outside. Winds are out of the north now at uh, 8 miles per hour, 49% relative humidity. Record temperatures of 103 and 37. Set back in the 40s, more or less. Sunrise now at 556, sundown at 901 for the Wasatch Front right now. Lots of thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms. Heavy rains continuing to build this afternoon and tonight over much of the uh, lower Great Lakes. Look at all of that radar activity, as you can see there. All the way into the central Rockies out west. A tornado touched down in Kansas today. Golf ball size hail in Wisconsin. Crazy weather all over uh, much of the middle part of the country. In fact, take a look at this. Summer thunder showers are rolling through the upper Midwest. Heavy rains flooded uh, much of this area, parts of Minnesota, prompting some flood watches in neighboring Wisconsin today. These uh, pictures here as they float to work. Marshall, Minnesota, about 100 people were evacuated from their homes. In Iowa, severe thunderstorms have caused some flooding, knocking down trees, flooding trailer homes and uh, knocking down some power lines as well. What a mess. Salt Lake City's high today was only 62 degrees this afternoon. That's 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. 76 in Provo today and farther south it gets a little bit warmer. Tomorrow things should start to warm back up for the weekend. Not bad at all. 75 in Salt Lake City and Provo, 79 in Richfield, Logan up to 73 tomorrow. And a look at the Fox satellite shot shows the uh, latest storm kind of swirling around the state. As you can see, as we take a look at it, kind of moving and building and then swirling. And that should swirl its way out of here by tomorrow. And then out here, clear skies. Yes. Clear yes. into the weekend. I like it. I like it yes. a lot. <laughs> For tonight, we'll call it cloudy, cooler, some scattered showers remaining overnight. And uh, 46 for the overnight low, uh, quite a bit cooler. But right. by tomorrow, scattered showers disappearing. The sun comes out. It warms up to 75. Can't beat that with a stick. How about the five-day for Utah's Dixie? Sunny and hot. In a couple of words, for northern Utah, looking just as nice for the weekend. Next mm -hmm. chance for rain long about Tuesday. I know why it got so cold today. Why is that? I know why. Because they had all of the hockey awards today. Every uh, one of them. They have them all in one day, don't they? Yeah. You know, everybody else spreads them out. You get the most valuable player, and then you get the mm. coach of the year, and you get a... But not in hockey. They do it all at once. Well, they want to go play golf. <laughs> that must be it. I suppose. And you're going to have one of those for us. Some, Some of those up. awards. Okay. Did you win any of them? One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? The high cost of health care? Everyone has a part in keeping it down. So we took what you like about Walmart 
and what you want in a pharmacy and put it right inside your Walmart store. The result? Walmart's pharmacy department. With professional service and a low price on every prescription. So next time, bring it here. Or ask your doctor to call. Walmart's pharmacy department. Your full service pharmacy. Right inside Walmart. Always the low price. Always. There's that car again. Yeah, the Altima. Since its introduction, the Nissan Altima has not only become the fastest selling new car in our history, it's become the best selling new car nameplate in America. Just like that, huh? Now that you can lease an Altima for just $1.99 a month, who knows what will happen? I guess that's what'll happen. Lease an Altima XE for a thousand down and just $1.99 a month for 36 months at your neighborhood Nissan dealer. It's a night of fire! Saturday, June 26, C93 presents Bottleville Raceway Parts Night of Fire! See Bruce Abbott's Fire Force Jet Funny Car! Racing Bumpus Brothers Plan B! Nitro Funny Car! Plus Jet Dragster Danger Zone! Racing Jet Dragster Fire Fox! Plus at 6 p.m. the Miss Night of Fire Swimsuit Contest! Saturday, June 26 at Bottleville Raceway Park! Disco tickets at Auto Parts Unlimited and Chris and Dick's! Be there! This weekend, every weekend, at Wyoming Downs, it's the Pony Express. Join us for live thoroughbred and quarter horse racing all summer long at Wyoming Downs. Come see Utah's fastest athletes compete in Evanston, Wyoming. General admission, just $3. Kids under 12 get in free. Just 80 miles from downtown Salt Lake. For more information and reservations, call 1-800-842-8722. That's 1-800-842-8722. Tonight Sports brought to you by Wyoming Downs, home of Utah's fastest athletes. It's Rungi time! And in first sports, golfing's U.S. Open got underway today in New Jersey at Baltus Rawl. The conditions were excellent. As a result, it was the lowest scoring first round in Open history, an average of 72.3 strokes per hole for all contestants. Here we go, and there he is, the co-leader, Scott Hoke. Birdies, 17 and 18, the only par of fives to go for. Now, now watch this. Jack Nicklaus on the par 3, 16th. His shot hits the flag stick, oh. and the ball bounces off. Sometimes life is not fair. <laughs> Another co-leader, Joey Sindelar, putting for a birdie on 15. It goes in the back door. Watch this. Mm. Four under, par 66. <laughs> Craig Perry also carded a 66 to tie for the lead. <laughs> We have too many baseballs, base brawls, too many negative things to report about Major League Baseball. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce Turk Wendell in his Major League debut pitching for the Chicago Cubs. Here's Turk. Watch him. He draws signs in the dirt, turns around, waves to a center fielder. Yes. Then after he strikes out Ray Langford, watch him pirouette over the base path. Then he chucks his licorice and then he brushes his teeth. <laughs> Bottom of the fourth and Sammy Sosa homers for Chicago. Now trailing five to three. We go to the top of the fifth after that home run. And Ozzie Smith, who went five for five, had six RBIs doubles with the bases loaded. Cards lead eight to three. Cubs come back, but not far enough as St. Louis wins it 11 to 10. At Riverfront Stadium, sorry, Nick, <laughs> San Francisco's Bill Swift was almost perfect, allowing only Kevin Mitchell's eighth inning infield single in a 5 to 1 Giants win. Marlins hurler Chris Hammond four hit the Phillies while winning his fifth straight. Pirate pitcher Bob Walk picked up his 100th Major League win while denying Dwight Gooden his 150th victory. Pittsburgh over the Mets 6-2. In Houston, the Astros down the Padres 4-1. In the American League, Cleveland's Carlos Baerga had three homers. Not enough as Tiger hitters had a total of five homers in a 9-5 Detroit win. Oakland recalled Troy Neal from the minor leagues today. Troy responded by hitting a three-run homer, and that was the A's margin of victory over the White Sox. At Yankee Stadium, New York edged the Twins 6-5, and in Toronto, John Ulu Olerud tied a club record hitting in 22 straight games and helped the Blue Jays to defeat the Red Sox 7-0. Baseball's major league owners met today in Denver and voted to expand the playoffs for the first time in 25 years, doubling the teams that qualify to eight starting in 1994. Of the 28 teams, only Detroit and Texas and Nick Clooney voted against That's the expansion. Right. Best of five first round will take place with the winners advancing to the league championship series. Mm. Well, the Suns and the Bulls will play game four tomorrow in Chicago. In NBA action off the court today, Cleveland named a, a new coach to replace Lenny Wilkins, who quit and ultimately took the job in Atlanta. Coincidentally, the Cavaliers' new coach is Mike Fratello, 
who used to coach the Hawks. Fratello, who had been employed as a television commentator, was asked why he wanted to get back on the bench. It's a completely different feeling being behind the mic where you are objective or being emotionally involved each night. And I think that's what you miss, the, the ability to compete, to win and to lose, but to take a group of people and work together with them in trying to achieve or accomplish something, and that is to win a championship. And the National Hockey League passed out their awards today at the Toronto Convention Center. The Hart Trophy given to the league's most valuable player, who else? Mario Lemieux of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Lemieux also won the Bill Masterton Trophy for sportsmanship and dedication to hockey and the Art Ross Trophy for being the league's scoring leader. Chris Chelios of the Blackhawks named the best defenseman and Chicago's Ed Belfour won twice, the Vezina for being the outstanding goaltender and the William M. Jennings for allowing the fewest goals. Winnipeg's Tima Solani won the Calder uh, rook, uh, Trophy for the Rookie of the Year and Pat Burns of Toronto was named Coach of the year. Nick, that's, that's a whole bunch of awards. Really is. And they, they, we talked about it. They do make a mistake. Uh, they should stretch it out. The same day. Get a little bit more PR for the league. They that's true. Learn. Got a youngster I'm very anxious for you to meet. All right. See you in just a moment. Okay. This man claimed his lover was the victim of a hate crime, but his bizarre behavior after the murder... David's going to take your picture. Here we go. ...made him a prime suspect. He looked guilty, and he looked like he was terrified. He was scared. Who is the real killer? Help solve the mystery. Watch America's Most Wanted. Then, hear the exclusive story of the first fully documented alien mass abduction. I remember seeing these bright lights. There was no escape. Friday night on Fox. Your deck versus nature. Your deck versus Nathan. <laughs> Only one stain protects against both. With Scuff Guard formula. But all kinds of nature. And all kinds of Nathans. No house stain protects and beautifies like Olympic deck stain. Olympic, the only one. Recently, an object was sighted. It was big! Bigger than big! Huge, huge, large, astronomically big. Big would be an understatement. Very big. Huge! Some guy! Big! Huge! When it arrives, you better not be alone. <laughs> Bigfoot. Pizza Hut! From Pizza Hut. Two square feet of pizza. 21 slices on a tasty new crust. $10.99 for up to three toppings. It's bigger than Pizza Pizza. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. A legendary value. For Father's Day, Ernst has the gifts Dad really wants. Brand name products that'll blow them away. Rev them up and put some power into his hands. At Ernst, we've cut prices on gift ideas that say Happy Father's Day. Right now, get a Great Neck 30-foot tape measure with utility knife for just $7.73. And a Stanley Leveler shortcut saw is just $9.83 each. Get Dad what he really wants. At Ernst. Well, life teaches us that some happy endings don't stay happy forever. Seven years ago, I covered a story in California. You may remember this story. It was about an infant boy. At that time, we named him Baby Jesse to protect his real identity. He had a dangerous heart transplant. He had what was called a hippoplastic left heart syndrome. Miraculously, the operation was a success. You're looking at him right there. But then a few weeks ago, seven-year-old Jesse fainted. It was the first sign that after seven years, his body was rejecting that heart. Yesterday, again, at Loma Linda Hospital in Southern California, this little guy received a heart transplant. If you remember Jesse, as I do, perhaps you hold a good thought for him tonight and in the days to come. The seven years were a miracle. Perhaps this time we can go for 70 more. We've got a couple seconds left here, sir. Nancy Lopez leads the LPGA Rochester. She's 666, and congratulations to Park City's Melissa Madden. She earned a position on the U.S. Disabled Ski Team's C-Squad. We're proud of you. Well, let's good for her. Yes, sir. Showers go away tonight. Sun comes out. Temperatures go up tomorrow. And in time for Father's Day, it'll be... Be beautiful. Sure it will. Hot. And that's the present you've given your dad, right? Okay, you heard him. Wrap it up. <laughs> that's the ribbon. <laughs> Our time is up. We'd like to thank you very much for being with us and hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Till then, for those you see and those you don't see, the Fox News. Have a great night. Saturday.
police find a house ransacked and two jealous sisters fighting over the same lover. Put the cleaver down. Saturday at 7 on Fox 13.